This is a little walk around about a 1988 BMW 325i convertible. It has a factory hard top, black leather, uh, sold new in Chicago to, by Perillo uh, in uh, June of 1988. The service books on the car run up till 412.92 and 19,000 miles. Uh, second owner was a car collector in Wisconsin. Uh, he held it and kept it in a climate controlled environment, uh, so the car was kept very nicely. Uh, and then he then sold it to his niece in June of 2012. The last oil service that it had by her was 68,918 miles in 2014. We bought the car uh, in September 23rd with 70,911 miles on it. Uh, it now has uh, 71,009 miles on it. The only mechanical work we have done to the car is we replaced an oil pressure sensor and oil pressure switch because they were the, the car had leaks. Uh, it has not had a timing belt replaced. Um, the air conditioner was charged in September with new refri refrigerant and it cools very, very nicely. I'm going to walk around the car and give you kind of a, a little extra details of the details of the defects of the car. One thing I would note is this trim around the windshield, original trim, which as you can see is discolored. And there's a plastic covering on the top. I think it's a real, real common problem with those. Windshield is the original windshield. There's no chips, there's no cracks. There are some very, very fine pits to the windshield that you can only see in the right light. And I only mention them because if you're as picky as I am, you'll notice. It takes a long time to see them. Uh, the mirror, this mirror here has got some rock chips on it. Uh, you go around to the front of the car. The emblems, both front and rear emblems need to be replaced. I haven't bothered to do it because I just didn't get around to it. There are some very fine scratches in the hood. You can see they're in the clear coat, not through the paint. Um, but overall, a really, really fine car. Going down the side of the car, you got a few rock chips on the leading edge of the hood. Uh, the tires are dated 2012, so you're going to want to replace those. It's got the bottle cap wheels on them that are almost perfect, and they've even got the cute little uh, BMW valve cover round those on. Uh, this mirror over here, same thing, got a few rock chips there. You've got some rock chips over here. Looks like somebody maybe took the hard top off and didn't get it quite right. There's a few little dinks in this chrome as well. The hard top is in really pretty nice shape, except it has got a little cut in fabric down here. Don't know what that's about. Uh, on the back deck, you've got again some very fine scratches. I, I show you these just because they're there. I would top has got some white spots and I don't know what the heck they are but they're there so we, we tried to clean them not real heavy uh, but they're there on the right rear corner as you can kind of see there's a scratch right there uh, I think on this side I don't think there's anything else on this side again like I say an extremely nice car and all original the rumor was that this car collector kept it not only in climate controlled uh, circumstances, but also had kind of a bubble, so not hermetically sealed, but probably the closest thing to it. The interior is all original. There's no problems except one little itty bitty prick in the vinyl on the door panel there. Uh, inside, like I say, is very, very nice. You can see the car has. 71,032 miles on it. The odometer works fine, no problem there. We do have an analog brake light on. I have a friend who's a BMW master mechanic in Wichita, Kansas, who, who I used to work with. I managed a BMW store from 1986 to 89. And uh, his opinion on the analog 
light, he said it's probably something very simple, probably not anything in the system itself, but a sensor. So anyway, you've got that. The radio is the original BMW anti-theft radio, and we have the codes to it. Uh, it had a cassette stuck in it. They got the cassette out, but the deck still thinks that there's a cassette in there. So, so the radio does not play. Um, BMW Radio Repair Service in California. They've got an ad on the internet. I can give you their website. But uh, $125 is what they say it normally takes to, to fix one of these. The uh, trip computer works perfect. There's no problems with it at all. So that's another kind of weak spot in these cars, I think. All of the power windows, the power mirrors, the cruise control, the blinkers, everything work fine. When you press the check light up here, everything is fine. You can get a good view of the droopy headliner on the, uh, head, the uh, hard top. Um, try to think of anything else in here that needs to be talked about. There are no cracks in the dash. Every piece of glass in this car is original. I do have the owner's books for the car. Um, and, and again, there's more pictures of the interior and everything like that. But all of, all of the ID tags uh, for the sheet metal and everything are there. Like I say, it's, a, it's probably going to, you're probably going to want to replace the drive belts, maybe some hoses and things, but it, it's overall very, very clean under here. Everything looks the way it's good. Like I say, we've repaired the oil leak. That oil leak is actually sending oil up through the tube on to the other side, which is pretty weird. Um, the battery is rare, fairly new, free of 20. There is no corrosion on the pan underneath the, the battery. Um, so I know that's a weak spot. One weird thing about this car, the paint match is almost perfect on it, but I see right here, you can see it kind of a little, I would I call it paint match. So maybe that fender has been repaired, replaced, or not replaced, but repainted. I don't know. Whoever did it did a heck of a job because the paint, you can't tell any problem with the paint at all. Uh, as, of course, the original hood insulation, everything is fine there. Uh, I've included pictures of the, in the trunk. Uh, I won't bore you with that right now because you can see those better once you get uh, into the pictures. Uh, the spare looks to be almost, uh, the, the, the wheel is brand new. The tire on it is a Pirelli P6, which has a date of, I think, Maybe 2004. Um, but anyway, overall, extremely nice and strong original car. The soft top on the car, there's more pictures of the soft top than the top off the car. But the soft top has got some stitching coming undone in the window and has about an inch and a half cut towards the front uh, of the top. So you're going to want to put a new soft top on it. Only other thing I forgot almost was uh, this radio antenna. The mast is gone. The antenna is in there. The workings are in there. So you'll either have to either replace the mast or replace the entire antenna. Anyway, if you got any more questions, need any more pictures, give me a shout. Thanks. Bye.